Hi folks, welcome to our Advent Bible study today. You know, there's a, a Christian thought that we rebel against consumerism by spending less. But today I want to encourage you to think about giving more. It's not a contradiction. Giving more isn't about giving more toys, more gadgets, more clothes, more gifts, more stuff. God is calling us to give more intentionally and relationally. That means giving more of our time, our energy, our memories, our talents, our presence. It's both and. Spend less money and give more of yourself to the ones that you love. We believe that the best gifts celebrate the relationship. Think back on the most meaningful gift you've ever received. Chances are that there's a story and a relationship that was connected to that gift. Now try and remember all of the gifts you were given last year, all of them. For most of us, that can be quite hard to do. It sounds obvious, yet we seem to have drifted away from this liberating, straightforward truth. The Father gave his one and only Son. God's answer for the world's problems has never been material things. God did not give us more stuff, even good stuff like work, food or health. He gave us himself, the most priceless and personal gift of all. And that leads me to the scripture for today. Just one verse, John 1, 14. And it says this, The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. You know, relational giving it means that we think about the other person, who they are and what they care about. We focus more on giving our undivided presence and less on a pile of presents under the tree. This takes time and effort on our part. These kinds of gifts often require planning, but you'll hardly be able to wait until Christmas to give such a gift. And you don't have to. When we give relationally during the Advent season or any other season of the year, this is what we remember. It's an opportunity to worship as we remind each other of the gift that was given for our sake. If we can resist the trap of giving easy gifts and reject the assumption that giving expensive gifts is the best way to express love, something else might begin to happen. Our kids, family, neighbours and co-workers will watch us celebrate Christmas differently, celebrate life differently. And through our actions, they will realise that we have different values and they will be opened in their hearts to hear the good news of the gospel. Now, I do have some questions for you. I don't think they're difficult, but I've got them written here. The first one is this. What was the most meaningful gift that you've ever received? Why did it have a lasting impression? What are some of your favourite Christmas traditions? Read John 1 verses 1 to 14. How does this passage remind you of the miracle of Christmas? And finally, as you consider what it means to give relationally, what most excites you and what would be the biggest challenge surrounding that? You know, all the prophecies, all the promises, everything came down to one relational gift. The Father gave the most personal gift ever, his Son. Let's pray. Father, I pray that through this Advent season, as we build towards Christmas, the, the point of which is to worship Jesus, but the fact of which is an exchange of gifts. Father, I pray that we are reminded and able to see that it all comes down to one relational gift, that out of your love for us, you gave your one and only Son, that we may believe on him and not perish, but have eternal life reconciled with you. Father, what an amazing gift, an everlasting gift, utterly focused, utterly personal, utterly for me, utterly for us individually. Amazing. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you, folks. Have a really good rest of the day. Amen. Amen.